What is up, Buck? Doug with Danny in the Garage today. Let's see if we can't bring a little life back into this hammer. All right, friends, some of you may recognize this particular Tanya Harding as the one that I found in the middle of the road outside the county dump. Because I'll be gripped if there ain't a tool in the road. Oh, look at that. Nice ball paint hammer. It's money in the bank right there. Yeah, she was run over a couple times, but uh, actually, that's a really nice one. Blue Point. That's a Kenosha, Wisconsin ball peen. Looks like it was dropped off the back of a working man's truck and then subsequently run over by a number of garbage trucks, dump trucks, pickup trucks, and my Jeep. No big deal. We got some pretty good dingers in the hickory handle here. Uh, got a bit of a crack up there, but the head's in good shape. What you're looking at here is a Blue Point 24 ounce ball peen hammer. If you don't know, Blue Point is actually the cheaper brand of Snap-on. Uh, Blue Point is to Snap-on what Epiphone is to Gibson. I'm gonna see if I can't bring some life back into this guy. I'm probably not gonna restore it the way you would. I'm gonna restore it in my own vision, uh, and I would like to keep the original handle. I could very easily make, buy, procure, whatever, a new handle. But what I'd rather see is this original piece. It's got provenance. So without further ado.
Who buddy buck, I will tell you what, this came out looking absolutely 10 out of 10. As I'm sure you can tell from the footage, I did not know where I was headed that whole journey. We uh, threw that yellow paint on there and it just looked awful. All, all around. I didn't like having the whole thing painted. Uh, I just didn't like how the yellow was playing with the uh, burnt end down here. Now, certainly we could have got this looking like new had we just switched the handle out, but I didn't really want to do that because there was a story behind this, you know? Uh, and the handle wasn't so far gone that it needed to be completely replaced per se. Um, there are some bits up here where we got a little bit of chowda. I'm just gonna let that be because this thing's gonna get, it's not gonna have an easy life in my toolbox, I'll tell you that much. So let me comment down in the squawk box. Has you ever done anything like this? Found a tool in the middle of the road, took her home, restored it, got it back to its fighting weight. Got a generational tool right there. The executive producer will be using that to uh, pound in God knows what on God knows what someday. So if you like the video, by all means, leave a comment down in the squawk boxes. Like the video if you like the video. That's common sense. Maybe even go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I think 2022, we're going to do a couple more of these little resto vids. I got a number of tools lying around the shop that could use a little love. So if you were digging this, let me know down in the squawk boxes. Subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. What color would you have painted it? I like the red. I did not like the yellow.